Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the channel. Lots of new subscribers, I appreciate it. Nice to have you. Make sure you take the time to like our videos and share them if you would. And uh, it actually isn't too windy today. And uh, today I wanted to talk about a little bit of, uh, <coughs> I don't know if you guys knew it, but Sherry and I used to be full-time RVers. So we traveled a lot. And uh, eh, it's still a little windy. And uh, after a while we kind of got to a point where we're going, we kind of miss having sticks and bricks <laughs> in a place or a base. And uh, that's kind of how we got the fifth wheel. Is uh, when I retired at 55, we traveled for a while. And uh, thank goodness we uh, got settled down before the COVID stuff came because traveling got to be really complicated for a lot of folks that were full timers. And uh, <clears throat> so then you get into a sticks and bricks and a base, you know, and, um, and then you get overwhelmed with the projects. Now, our first house we bought after we were traveling was in Arizona. Simple. And uh, we we're happy. We we're very comfortable. But uh, I'm not sure what this dog's doing here. What you doing, dog? What you got? She's, does, she's a little goofy. Anyway, so... <coughs> Uh, then we moved to five acres and uh, the projects just are endless. Just uh, sometimes uh, this weekend was very overwhelming. So much to do to get this greenhouse put together. And uh, we're getting there. Almost done. I got to pick up a few things for it. But uh, yeah. It's getting there pretty soon. Looking forward to that. And, uh, uh, but some days, I tell you, you're so overwhelmed with projects that your head's going to explode. And then, uh, other days, you try to relax and all you can think is projects. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going with this, but Sherry and I worked really hard this weekend. And I feel bad because she has a nine to five job. <clears throat> so we spent the whole weekend working on stuff, but it's also gratifying. Where I'm going with this conversation, <laughs> I have no idea. So what do you like in life? Do you like it easy all the time? Do you like it gratifying? Do you like to be accountable for your own actions? Uh, those are the things you need to know about homesteading. And, uh, you know, if you get a homestead, you get something that already has a lot of utilities on it already and, and buildings and infra infrastructure. Or do you buy raw land and start from scratch? I'm not grabbing eggs yet, but let's take a peek. Oh, look at this full house. <laughs> no, I'm not grabbing eggs, girls. You're fine. So, yeah, it's kind of early in the morning, so we're going to leave them alone. <clears throat> But uh, I, I know yesterday in the video, this was a bear to put on because we measured everything right. Turns out our plastic wasn't exactly cut um, as straight as they as it should have been. <clears throat> so it made it real hard to get this thing centered with only a few inches to spare. But we got it. Um, so it's kind of funny at this stage, it looks kind of scrappy. <laughs> but uh, as we get things cinched down, uh, it'll start making some functionality. And the wind's kind of cold today, so I'm actually going to go in here. And uh, so some of the things I found frustrating on this project was, uh, boy, I tell you, if you don't buy quality screws, that sucks. And then these... Uh, little chucks these guys here don't buy cheap ones because if you're using them really heavy you will um, they'll wear out or they'll, the threads will uh, break down 
and uh, when you get that crucial screw to put in and this thing starts spinning in it how frustrating is that so I highly recommend when you're doing projects buy quality screws and buy quality checks if that's the right person right, right word for these buy good ones that are strong and uh, don't wear out because <laughs> man yesterday I was pretty angry at some screws I had and granted there was some uh, left over in the garage I used and they were low quality and uh, uh, made the day frustrating sometimes so good good tools so the other thing I was gonna bring up is um, when you're buying stuff for your homestead um, if it comes to buying that cheap miter saw at Harbor Freight or spending a little more money for a DeWalt or something you want to think that over it's just like well I use it a lot hey you know the cheap one will be fine if it's one you're using a lot and it breaks down or doesn't do some of the functionalities you want um, <laughs> spend a little more money it, it is helpful so today I gotta go to the hardware store get better checks and some better screws um, just you know I got pockets full of you know for example I got <clears throat> these little screws here that I was using for the uh, tracks and uh, the heads are really wide and this thing would these would slip out of the checks really easy <clears throat> and uh, you know it, <laughs> it was frustrating I just thought I'd bring that up but uh, yeah, so you really have to ask yourself is, uh, you know, just having a re regular house with a smaller lot, the way to go, more manageable, or, you know, you look at a place like this, <coughs> and some days you go, wow. And uh, here, I mean, so we get, this, we get this greenhouse done. Well, now I got to build shelving all the way around. Um, Gonna put a water system in here for <laughs> you made it in here. Look at you. It's like only one more wall's open. And uh <clears throat> you know, so there's still a lot of work. But hopefully this summer, I'm hoping from this video maybe I can compare it and laugh about this time. It'll be all green with tomatoes. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. First year sometimes you'll you have a lot of beginner's luck and other, <laughs> other times you're just like I can't grow a thing so anyway uh, um, I just thought I kind of share some thoughts with you about all of this uh, I got to uh, um, get to the store get some uh, new tooling not gonna be real expensive um, we right now in the freeze dryer I thought I'd update you we have uh, celery and carrots drying out and then after that we're interested in doing pineapples and uh, <laughs> hi guys um, these guys won't know what to do when I finally get this last wall in here can't cut through here anymore can you guys can you can you all right guys um anyway Let's move on. Well, I decided to check in on the harvest right. Uh, we loaded this. Looks like they'll be done in about 20, will be 24 hours to do celery and uh, carrots. So, uh, still can't get over how quiet this is. And this fan really seems to be quite helpful to keep, help keep it cooled down. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd show you is, uh, I know I talk about my fish in the pond all the time and you never can see them but uh during the summer and stuff like that I feed them almost daily but uh, uh during the winter they kind of go dormant but I still give them a pinch of food every two to three days and that's what we're going to do right now I never see the fish um like I said, normally I think an ice over and your fish will be fine. And they 
as soon as everything thaws out, there they are. So anyway, I still film a little bit of food. And uh, I'm sure they sneak out sometime, but I never see them anymore. But they're there. All right, guys, I got to move on. All right, guys, for a quick update on the uh, uh, hydroponics, uh, I have a, a, a viewer named uh, Adam asking how my radishes were doing. And they're doing super duper. And, uh, yep, as soon as I uh, see a second set of leaves start coming up, I think it's time for uh, nutrients. Uh, my little uh, um, lettuce is popping up. And uh, I was actually surprised how quickly uh, the little broccoli is coming up over here. So, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're doing really well. I'm uh, curious to see how crazy they go once I start adding the nutrients. And uh, in the meantime, uh, I still got to do my chicken run. And I just got back from the hardware store and the RV store. And uh, let me update you on that. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, Harvest Rite, by the way, has been fantastic. And I ordered a oilless motor. And uh, so they sent a substitute. But as soon as they got the oilless in, uh, it came in. So it's right here. Uh, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. But their service has been fantastic. Still loving my uh, uh, freeze dryer big time. So... Uh, we will be pulling out celery and carrots today, and uh, I still got to update you on what, what went on at the hardware store. So, let's go outside for a minute. So, if you're anything like me, uh, I hate inflation, but I hate the cost of everything lately. So, uh, I think I got this going. Huh? Yep. So, I just got to show you real quick. Um... You know, I took you out to the RV and I need to replace the sensor. So I picked up another sensor. 80 freaking dollars. <laughs> 80 dollars. Uh, and he knocked off 10 bucks for me because I was whining so well. <laughs> and, uh, I call it my senior discount. It must be the hat, right? And of course I bought a lot of screws and new uh, chucks for my uh, screwdriver set and... Uh, Gosh, I mean, I dropped another hundred bucks. I'm tired of it. So, uh, now I get the sun out of you guys' eyes. Uh, I'm going to go check on the chickens, pull eggs. Uh, I'm not going to take you with you uh, on it today. <laughs> Too much going on. And uh, I need to do a garbage run really bad. One thing with all the stuff coming in is I get tons of boxes. And uh, it's just never stops and of course I got that new box in there with the motor in it ah. so anyway I'm gonna go check in the chickens so guys I'm gonna cut it off here I want to thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to order yourself a hat uh, these are the uh, uh, keep on rednecking hats uh, just look in the link below and uh, of course the Ranger Rob poopy bags we would appreciate it they're great bags you'll love them they're all at Amazon you can get this at Amazon too and uh, anyway, be safe out there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. That really helps us out. So guys, have a great day. Be safe. See you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.